without aquaporin there would be no life on earth. That is actually what uh, these gentlemen here in the studio say about their company, about Acroporin uh, that we should meet today. Danish-based company, but with a global uh, targeting and um, pure water, innovative water technology. And uh, that's, that is what it's all about here, because I've uh, invited uh, the CEO, Matt Boskowski, from uh, Acroporin. And uh, then also you, uh, Klaus Jul Wolf, uh, the CFO, the financial wingman, as I would uh, call you today. Yeah. And uh, you guys are representing Aquaporin that was um, listed in uh, NASDAQ in Copenhagen uh, in the summer of 21. So that's uh, one and a half year ago. And uh, you, you were with the company before that, but you actually started a year ago as the CEO? Yes, I yeah. started uh, on January as the CEO of, uh, of last year, so yeah. it's been a little bit over one year now. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I should say to you audience, audience out there that we decided to do this in English because, uh, Matt, you are, you are not, as we can always uh, hear, not, not, not native Danish. Uh, where are you from? No, so I was actually born in Poland. I spent most of my career and uh, life in Canada, mm -hmm. so I, uh, I've moved to Denmark a few years ago. Prior to that, I was in France. But okay. uh, yeah. So you've been around? I've been around, yes. And with a global perspective, as you have here in the company, that is, uh, I guess, a, a good thing. Uh, absolutely. One of, yeah. the, one of the reasons why uh, you know, I, I joined and I was uh, asked to, uh, to come to Aquaporin is because of that international experience to grow and commercialize the company globally. Yeah. Mm. So what's your background, just in short? So I have a, I have a, a background in uh, biotechnology and uh, in chemical engineering. And uh, I've spent uh, about 20 years in the separations and purification industry. Uh, I was previously with some uh, large global uh, membrane companies such as GE Water and uh, Suez. Okay. So uh, joining Aquaporin is uh, the, the whole concept, the whole idea is to uh, commercialize uh, our offering, our membranes. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but you have industry knowledge in that sense. Yeah. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, both from the oil and gas industry, pharma industry and uh, food and beverage. Okay, but uh, looks good, and we're looking forward to, to hear more about that. And uh, and you, Klaus, you've also you've been with the company for how long? For Since uh, May first. Okay. Uh, so yeah. relatively new to the business. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but but also known and experienced in the as the as the money man, I guess. Uh, yes, indeed. I mean, I have twenty plus years of experience with you know large international companies, both in Denmark and, uh, and abroad. I'm Dane, uh, so I'm yeah. the Danish part of the management here and. Yeah. Uh, from growth business, so yeah, and I ca as I can hear from the uh, from the uh, analytics that we read about, we also have, have actually have uh, independent analytics around uh, your uh, your company. People are not bad, you know. They are they are quite impressed with the technology and the global potential of the technology that you work with. Uh, and it, but it's fair to say that you are still in the in the early days of the of the journey, right? Uh, absolutely. Look, I mean, I mean, our purpose is uh, you know we want to rethink water filtration with biotechnology. Mm. I think we're one of the very few companies in the world that has that, and uh, that is what makes us, I think, very attractive. Uh, it's it's a tool that uh, other companies uh, don't have. Mm. And uh, I, I think we uh, we are onto something. Yeah. yeah so so b because actually that, that's the first part of the agenda today. The, for for you to maybe explain to us at least the the people that don't know uh, you or have the shares yet, what what exactly is it that you're doing? Right. So look, aquaporin is actually a, a highway for water molecules. It's a highway present in nature. And so when we say that without aquaporin there would be no life on Earth, mm. we of course talk about the aquaporin protein. Mm. But we are so fond of this protein that we named our company after it. Mm. Uh, so. Um, what we do in Denmark in our headquarters in, uh, in Lungbu is that we take the protein, we create it, we stabilize it, and this is makes our core technology, which we call aquaporin inside. Mm -hmm. We then take this uh, aquaporin inside technology and we apply it to our products. With those products, we provide solutions for uh, wastewater treatment, for uh, food and beverage, and for drinking water. Mm -hmm. So all of this is uh, quite uh, heavily patented, so we have a lot of IP around how to do that and how to apply it. Mm -hmm. And so we have 86 people in uh, Lungbu working uh, on, that, uh, mm -hmm. uh, on, on that mission. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, you know, listed, as you said, uh, previously on the, the NASDAQ in Copenhagen. Uh, under the ticker AQP. Mm -hmm. We are, are backed by uh, strong Danish uh, cornerstone investors. I think uh, Danica, Goldschmidt Capital, just to name, uh, you know, name a few. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and so with, uh, with this uh, aquaporin inside formulation, we try to save energy, we try to concentrate uh, uh, beverages, we try to do things like uh, PFAS removal in drinking water. Yeah, so PFAS is, w is something that, uh, at least in Denmark, has been uh, PFAS has been very much uh, in the media. And it's a problem in all around Denmark that, that we think we have a clean uh, drinking water, but, but we don't. 
Uh, ab absolutely, it's, yeah. and it's a huge topic for us. It's a huge yeah. driver. We uh, that's how we position our drinking water solutions because we know we have a solution for uh, uh, not just the Danes, but we have a solution that can be applied uh, globally. Mm. Yeah. So that in that sense, you are globally, but also uh, very ambitious, I would say, with uh, pl eighty plus uh, employees in the company. So uh, that's quite ambitious. Uh, yeah. I mean, we uh, we're eighty five and growing, so uh, mm. always uh, always on the lookout for qualified people. By the way. <laughs> 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 but 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 what about uh, what about the um, uh, the, the, the history, you've been around, uh, the company has been founded uh, in many years. And, uh, yes, yeah. yeah, I mean the company has been around for over 10 years. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it started as, uh, uh, you know, our founder had the idea of uh, basically repl replicating in real life, in industrial life, what the aquaporin protein does in nature. Mm -hmm. And the first few years were really spent at developing this, uh, this technology. Then the next five to 10 years were sp spent on scaling it up. And then since the IPO, it's been really, everything has been about commercializing it, about reaching new customers. Yeah. And that's what we've been focusing for the last 24 months. So you're going more or less from uh, like development to, to more application uh, focusing and, and going to the markets. Uh, uh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. and picking the kind of focus areas when we know we can make a, yeah. a, an impact. I know we have a slide uh, also explaining a little bit more about the technology as I, as I remember, the, but about the, the like filter technology or what is it that you're actually uh, doing? You have this aquaporin inside. Um, it's a filter, right? It's, it's, it's a filter. So if you think of the roots of trees, if you think of uh, cells in your body, they all have the aquaporin protein to make sure that your body only receives water and none of the bad particles that could be viruses, bacteria and everything else. Mm. So we take that invention that really has existed for billions of years in nature yeah. and we try to figure out how could we use this part of an industrial process. So we take that and we, we take this protein, we make it in Denmark, and we put it in what we call a formulation, which is just a, a solution, a liquid. Yeah. And then we apply this to a filter. Um, think of like a standard coffee filter, for example. Yeah. So we make that filter super performant at rejecting all kinds of uh, particles, except for water. So mm. it's selective to get water through only. Mm. And that is, uh, you actually use known technologies, but, but the part with the aquaporin uh, inside is, is where you actually then, uh, you have your, your sort of uh, matrix. Right? Exactly, yeah. it's very, very well said. We use yeah. uh, reverse osmosis or, uh, or uh, forward osmosis. So these are proven existing technologies that have been around for many, many years. Mm. But our unique building block is that aquaporin inside formulation. That's what allows us to make the product uh, perform a little bit better, uh, yeah. be a little bit more energy efficient, uh, allow you to have more water, and also uh, this is what we've tested for those PFAS claims that uh, I was mentioning. And then you have uh, you have applications both on the, in the consumer and you have applications also uh, your industrial, right? Uh, that's the that's the two main, but which is also covering it all. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we we try to focus. You know, we try to focus <laughs> as much as possible. Yeah. But but you're right. We yeah. uh, we have the drinking water segment, which is more consumer focused. And then we have the industrial segment, which is more food and beverage and uh, wastewater, industrial wastewater. Mm -hmm. The majority of the growth for us is happening on the drinking water side. In fact, you know, very recently we signed uh, an, a global agreement with uh, with Philips in mm -hmm. uh, in China. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Uh, all of our all of the purifiers in China are going to have the aquaporin uh, membrane in them, and that is a huge sort of uh, stamp of approval for us mm -hmm. that we have a differentiating technology that such a global player uh, has decided to uh, to go with. Yeah, that was actually uh, at, at at this day and and, uh, and there's some news that you actually just uh, came out with uh, today uh, when, when as, as we yeah. speak. Uh, and you and you're now uh, opening up for uh, well, you have already been in China. It's your it's your biggest uh, customer, as I understand it now. Yes. But now you're extending the the, uh, the the operations with them, or yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So so China is uh, roughly half of the global market for purified water on the consumer side. Mm. And so for us to uh, to enter into this agreement with Philips means that hundreds of thousands of homes are going to have access to our technology. And uh, this is uh, you know we, we like you know like uh, we've had this under development last year. We've signed it uh, today, mm -hmm. and uh, in 2023, this is going to be one of the major drivers of uh, of our success in, in the Chinese market. Hopefully, says the uh, the financial man as well. Oh, I'm counting yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, just to, for me to understand, is it is it the uh, the filter technology that you then sell into their applications, or, and you also go out with your own applications, or, or how is how is that? Is it is it their applications, or and your technology inside, or what do you do? Yeah, so it's it's their equipment, it's their purifiers. All of them are going to be equipped with our filter. Okay. So they sell that uh, that unit. You can have uh, on your table, on under your sink. Yeah. Uh, they have a number of different devices. Most of those devices use the reverse osmosis membrane, so mm -hmm. that is going to be our aquaporin membrane that's going to okay. be in them. And how often uh, do I, as a customer, if I was a Chinese customer, how often do I need to 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 to, to buy new filters? 
I mean, we, we, we hope as often as possible. <laughs> <laughs> drink, <laughs> drink water. Drink, drink your water, it's good for you. <laughs> Healthy drinking water is what we uh, want people to do. Yeah. But I, I think every one to two years is okay. probably what we're targeting with the typical, uh, you know, like a typical use of, uh, for a family of four. So, so people want to want cleaner water can look forward also in Denmark to, to, your, to, to, to getting access to your applications. Yeah, yeah ab absolutely. It's going to be uh, in Q1. We have uh, what we call the uh, A2O Pure that we're going to be introducing. So mm -hmm. that's like a simple under your sink device. And you have a nice little tap that from which you have your purified uh, healthy drinking water. Mm -hmm. And then later on in the year, so in the first half of 2023, we'll be introducing what we call the A2O Bar. And that's mm -hmm. a really neat built-in Danish design, yeah. really slick looking water bar that has uh, all sorts of features. Which is also on the uh, on the screen now, can be shown on the screen as I can see it. Just uh, for us, uh, for the in the investors to understand how much uh, how, how much effort are you, are you using on the drinking water consumer and how much on the industrial solutions? Is it 80% on the on the first part or how is your sort of focus in uh I think, uh, you know, effort-wise as a company, I would say it's uh, roughly uh, actually a 50-50 split. But uh, in terms of revenue, what we expect in terms of the results for the company, mm -hmm. I would say it's uh, going to be about 70% drinking water, 30% industrial. Okay. The, the, the reason for that is, uh, you know, on the industrial side, it's a, a much longer term uh, development process with customers. You need to do references, you need to uh, run pilots, and I think all that is, is in progress. Um, once you get that in place, you have repeat business with them. Yeah. So the effort is there. It's just yeah. that the revenue is going to come a little bit later. Which means that, you know, 25, 2025, 2026 is, of course, also important years, I guess, for you. Yeah. I, yeah. I think by the time we reach 25, 26, we should be in a 50-50 revenue split between okay. drinking water and non-drinking water. Yeah. And for the, uh, as I said, the financial wingman, we also have financial highlights. And uh, I guess that's also uh, for you, uh, Klaus, to, to, to put a, a few words on. Can you, can you tell us a little bit, bit about uh, last year, 2022, what was it like for you? Uh, we, we, we had a really good year. I mean, mm. we started up with the year with a guidance of revenue between 20 to 30 million kroner. Yeah. We haven't yet announced the, the final uh, uh, 2022 revenue numbers, but we revised the guidance uh, just before Christmas to be, uh, 29 to 31. So on the upper end uh, or slightly above uh, the, the original guidance. So that aspect is really good. It's mm. a uh, more than 300% growth versus what we had uh, the year before. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, really a nice projection for us as well. Yeah. And what is, uh, and, and you also, uh, as we can as we can see, you also, so to speak, burn money on, on yeah. developing the company. Is there, a, w what's the plan on, on getting a break even or more investments uh, to the company? Uh, we are in the middle of, of finding uh, additional funding. Mm -hmm. uh, we, so we've also been kind of stating that before we realize, we, we announced the, uh, annual report, yeah. we anticipate to have uh, funding in place. Okay, so, so that is part of, a, 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 I guess, a journey like yours because you want to you wanna go, uh, go out as a winner on the global market and that costs money, I guess. So, so is there a plan then saying, you know, in 25, uh, 2025, we would like to, to have the break even of the company or what is, what is the uh, projections? Is there, is there anything there? Of course we have something in, uh, in details. I cannot comment on okay. it, but I mean, I think it's fair that we have, we can say in a few years, yeah. we anticipate yeah. to be new, uh, both a uh, break even and also cash neutral. Okay, but because so it's, that not is far, it's not far out in the horizon. No, 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 but that is of course, Looking from it as an investor perspective, that what one needs to understand is that you are in the sense that you have, you are a candidate to be like the global, maybe not the winner, but at least one of the winners in this new field of business. But that of, of course it also comes with a part of the risk. And uh, and and talking about that, I can uh, I can see that the um, the uh, the share price is uh, you know it was about half of what when you were listed. Do you see any any good reasons for that? I, I think, you know, as, as a whole, the market has been a bit, uh, uh, you know, difficult for mm -hmm. many companies. Mm -hmm. So I think if we compare us to the broader market, I think we are probably, you know, uh, comparatively similar to what we see uh, yeah. happening in the market. Yeah. I, 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 I think, you know, for us, we, uh, we can't really comment on uh, the, 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 the price that. itself. No, no, but but yeah. of course, we wanted to, uh, to grow and that's what we are you're working on, yeah. But of course, as you say, you are a tech company in that sense yeah. and tech companies has been in, this, in the sense punished. And I should say to all of you out there that I'm not here to, to any, in any ways recommend any, any shares, but only give inspirations because that's yeah. part of, it, of this. But of course, it is, uh, you know, as for in the investors. Now we, we have this news for you guys and, and, and 
what, what should we be expecting or what should we wait for from Aquaporin here in uh, 2023? Yeah, look, I think one of the major things we've been working on is addressing that PFAS issue that's been so uh, loud and clear in Denmark. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have a solution. We actually have uh, data that's been uh, done by an independent university, by Aarhus uh, University, mm -hmm. that shows that uh, we take uh, water from different Danish uh, water sources. We are able to remove PFAS from it with our purifier. We are able to then deliver clean, healthy drinking water that is uh, free of PFAS. Mm -hmm. And that we are launching in, uh, in Q1. We are, we are also launching a product um, in the first half that's going to have uh, also similar capabilities plus other functions. And that is also going to be for the kind of premium kitchen segment. Yep. So we have that on the go. We, we expect to grow our business uh, uh, overseas as well, outside of Denmark, so growing in Turkey. Uh, we expect to grow in China, grow in India, so uh, all that on the drinking water side. On the industrial side, we are focusing on uh, areas with uh, high energy efficiency. So we are present in China, for instance, with uh, landfill leachate treatment. Mm -hmm. We are able to uh, treat really highly contaminated water extract clean water from it, return it to the environment. So again, a very positive and a very clean environmental footprint mm -hmm. uh, from our side. And in food and beverage, we're also expecting to have some, uh, uh, some pilots and some, um, uh, some successes in concentrating uh, beverages and really in and actually potentially creating new products. Mm -hmm. So that's the, you know. So it's ambitious, right? That is ambitious <laughs> and it's exciting. Yeah, very, yeah. very exciting, so, uh, absolutely. So in that sense, we should at least uh, follow and uh, follow up on wh what you uh, what you are coming with. And uh, and Klaus, I guess you you both have to to look on the, as you said, the, the financing and but also getting the, the news to the to the investors. Is that is that your, what you also want? That's uh, probably taking off more than 50 percent of my time. Just, yeah. you know, we're talking to investors, talking to to news channels, those kind of things. So it's it's high on the agenda, and we have a very good team supporting us. On but uh, gents, uh, thank you so much for coming in and for uh, letting all the, the private investors to, to get to know a little bit more about you and what is up here in uh, 2023. I'm uh, looking forward to, uh, to seeing you uh, in, in here again, <laughs> hopefully Likewise. soon. Likewise. Sooner the better. Yes. Uh, and to you out there in uh, both Danish and English, uh, happy that you were watching with us and yeah. uh, stay tuned on the channel, as we say. So uh, thanks a lot.